Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and this is a video I decided to make due to a friend, uh, a good friend, Kevin Twiner, on YouTube. Check him out. He's a very down-to-earth, nice guy. He, uh, I had posted something on Facebook about this, and he said, you know, maybe you should do a video about that. So, hopefully uh, people find it interesting, or it helps them, if someone comes in and is a big... Um, TV person or they know a lot about audio video equipment and I'm completely wrong I apologize in advance but let's give this a quick shot so I was reading a lot of stuff online about how the 360 Xbox one PS3 PS4 um, have some settings that you can tweak in terms of the display so a while back uh, I went into my 360 and I'll show you what I'm talking about and I went to well, obviously the HDTV settings are on 1080p, or you can put on optimal, or whatever it is you use. But under reference levels, uh, if you see, it says standard, intermediate, and expanded. So I thought, okay, expanded means you're going to get the best bang for your buck in terms of color. What that really means is certain televisions, certain HDTVs, and monitors especially, have an expanded, I guess, RGB color palette, something to do with... Uh, well, this I'm not going to mess with. I'll keep that on auto. Um, something to do with the blacks, the whites, and all the grays and gradation in between. So that's the kind of the best way and, and the most simplistic way for me to put it. So I'm currently on standard. Uh, if I switch that, let's, uh, I should have done this beforehand. There we go. If I switch that to, oh, let me plug this in and I'll show you what I mean. So let's go to my, let's go back first, we're going to go to my, where is it, my apps, picture viewer, alright, there we go, that's pretty good, a portable device. Now I've loaded up this test, um, what this test is, I have two of them here. Um, this is a full RGB test. So, on the screen should be all different shades of blacks and grays. Uh, and this is on the standard setting. So the first two, I don't know if you can tell through the camera, the first two look practically identical with a very, very slight difference. And then it gets, by the third block, you can see it's very different. Then it goes into grays and I can see them all. Now, let's zoom the camera back in here. If I go back into the settings, oh, system, uh, console settings, display, and I go to reference levels. Now, if I change this to intermediate or expanded, let's try intermediate first. Watch what it does. My apps, picture viewer, portable. It takes, it's kind of hard to see on the, on the viewfinder, so I'm not sure how much of this you guys can really see. But it takes the blacks on the whole top level and cancels them all out. They're all just black. You can't see anything. You don't start seeing the gradation till roughly the middle of the, of the graph, or the middle of the, whatever you want to call it, the blocks. Um, so in me thinking, oh, I'm doing something good by putting on intermediate or expanded, in turn, it's doing something known as black crush, where it's taking the, the black colors and it's making them really dark and vibrant, but it's crushing the light grays, the dark grays, well not so much the light grays, the darker grays, the light blacks. There's not much of a gradation there. It's, it's taking it and it's completely, you know, screwing it up. Um, so let's go back to standard and we'll keep that on standard. And let's go back to... The, the apps, my apps, picture viewer, and now this is back to normal. You'll see that there's more gradation. That you could you could pretty much see almost all the blocks minus the first two, which seem a little dark still. Um, this is where I read online at least. I have it on game mode, so all the like anti-aliasing and um, the edge enhancement, all that is off. Um, but if you go to, like, under my TV, I think it's under advanced, 
and you go here to off or dark you can change the settings a bit so if I go to off actually that looks pretty good it's showing all the grays all the blacks and I could see the slight 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 difference um, if you want it a little darker you could you could change it you can go into your picture settings and change the brightness if that helps so let's see here. if I change this to dark and then I go to the yeah, brightness is at 46 let me try and remember that number now if I go up it's kind of washing out the whole picture so I mean I could go a little higher here like that maybe 48 and now I could see the difference and it should uh, you know it has a, a nice gradation now so now I'm going to switch over to the Xbox One and this is what I was talking about this is a picture I loaded up already on my OneDrive and it's showing you the difference between crushed black and good black um, as you see in this like wave thing in the water and the tide um, the crushed black looks really bright and nice but it's actually killing all those little gradations and those dark grays and light blacks so um, Xbox go back item 5 so this is the same picture uh, but it's loaded on my OneDrive so what I'm going to do is in the um, description in the lower bar I'm going to put a copy of a link to this picture and you can use this to kind of adjust your your HDMI ports you know to my, mine saves for each port is what I'm referring to to change it to how you like it so I left this I think on the other one on dark and then I went to brightness and now it's on 46 48 okay so that's pretty good because now we can see there's a different difference between the first black the second black and the third black um, so it looks kinda blue on the viewfinder so hopefully you guys are seeing that it's gray um, and as I said I'll put I'll put it in the web in the um, in the lower bar and you can see and then you can adjust for it because I did the same thing on my Xbox one Xbox go to settings Xbox go to settings and I have to use the controller in the settings um, so let's see here so if you go here on the display it says 1080 it says HDMI um, and then if you go to see I'm reading a little bit about this they're saying here that 24 bits is actually what everything uses currently so if you're putting it on 36 you may introduce a slight 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 bit of lag um, then if you change this to full instead of standard or limited I believe is the yeah limited TV RGB limited you're pretty much doing the same thing you did on the 360 where you're switching to expanded so Xbox go to OneDrive Xbox go to OneDrive okay so you see now all those blacks are crushed again all the blacks are gone it, it doesn't show grays until more towards the middle to the end of the of the picture so you're gonna wanna definitely go into your settings uh, Xbox go to settings Xbox go to settings usually it works much better than this it, it figures that I'm, I'm doing it on the TV and this is what's happening go back to RGB limited Xbox go to OneDrive and there we go now you can see the gradations again um, I would definitely recommend using this picture tweaking you know to what works for your TV using the brightness a little bit using the um, the display settings and the 360 the PS3 the PS4 the Xbox one that way you have an idea of what you're really wiping out because if you can't see those top black lines then what's happening to all those dark grays and those light blacks they're just being crushed so to speak so that's really it I will put the link in the lower bar check out uh, the picture you know download it to a flash drive for the 360 the PS3 uh, the Xbox one currently doesn't support flash drives but it's supposed to in the future so what I did was put it on my OneDrive account uh, the PS4 I don't have one so I'm not quite sure but I tweaked it it worked I did it on my Blu-ray player as well so uh, that's really it 
Thanks guys for watching. I hope this was helpful to some people. It is Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.